This is the first slide cast of the engineering management course. Uh, so it's obvious that the first thing we want to do is define what we're talking about. So the question is, what is engineering management? Let's look at that in two parts. Let's look at management and let's look at engineering. Start with management. So there's definition for management, organization and coordination of the activities of an organization to achieve defined objectives. Now that's one definition. Uh, there are quite a few others most of which mean the same thing. In your reading you'll see that there's a different definition which means much the same. But let's look at this definition and let's look at it in parts. The first part is organization and coordination. Organization is making things happen. If you um, have to manage the production of a set of drawings, organization part of it is arranging for people to do the work, getting them allocated to the work, giving them the equipment they need to do the work, giving them a place to do the work, giving them a time, giving them, uh, telling them what they're supposed to do. So that's what the organisation part is. Uh, it may be that the person doing the CAD work is yourself. You may be managing yourself. That's fine. But the management part of it, the management half of the work is when you're organising for everything to happen. Coordination is uh, coordinating between other activities. So for example with your um, set of drawings, it may be that those drawings um, need design work to be done ahead of them so that you know what you're supposed to be drawing and then after it they're going to be used for construction. So you have to coordinate the production of the design before you start your drawings and when you've, you need to coordinate the production of your drawings so that they're ready for when they need needed for construction. So that's what coordination is. And an engineering project has a lot of activities and they all need to be coordinated. Next thing we're looking at activities. An activity is what you do to progress an engineering project or an engineering um, operation. So for example, producing the CAD drawings is an engineering activity. Uh, doing the design is an engineering activity. Constructing the work is an engineering activity. Doing the surveying is an engineering activity. Bore logs, engineering activity. The next thing is organization. It works at several levels. So at the highest level, the organization that is involved is your company. So you might be working for a consultancy doing design and drawing. You might be working for a surveying consultant doing the surveying. You may be working for a construction company building things. Uh, at a lesser level, the organization that you're working within is a project team. So if you're on a construction site, all the people that are on site with you, the foremen, the workers, the other uh, managers, they are all part of that smaller organisation which is part of the bigger company organisation. The last part of that is to achieve defined objectives. Objectives are what do you want to achieve? The most obvious one is you want to build what has been required. So if you've been asked to build a four lane highway, you have built a four lane highway, you haven't built a two lane highway. You've built what was asked of you. Uh, if you've been asked to design a house for a client, you've built what the client has asked you to, to design. The next, uh, another objective would be time. You want to complete the project within the time allocated. You want to do it uh, for the budget. You want to, if you're doing construction work, you want to do it safely. So there are all sorts of objectives and we're going to talk about objectives later on in the course. Let's look at engineering now. So we're talking about civil engineering projects and operations. So we're talking about the management of civil engineering uh, projects and operations. Before we talk about the difference between projects and operations, let's look at engineering management as a whole. Engineering management is different from many other types of engineering. The main difference is it, there's a lot of variability, there's a lot of uncertainty. Every day is different in engineering management. Compare that to say McDonald's, if you're working for a McDonald's hamburger restaurant, if you were a manager of that, your day would basically be ordering the, the materials, the burgers, the, the buns and the, the patties and whatever it is you're using, making sure there's staff on site when they're doing the work, making sure they're doing the work properly, you collect the money, you take it to the bank, you put it in. So that's your day, and you do it day over and over and over again. Um, there's not much, not many surprises. 
However, an engineering management project, if you're an engineering manager, uh, every day is different. Um, if you're on a construction site, it may rain one day, it may be fine the next. It may be that you're striking soils that are really hard to excavate one day and they're, they're fine the next. It may be that the neighbours are causing you problems. It may be that um, you are working fast some days and slower the others. So engineering management has a lot more variability, a lot more uncertainty. Now let's look at the difference between a project and an operation. So a project is a temporary endeavour undertaken to create a unique product or service whereas operations are permanent activities that are carried out to keep the facility in use. So let's compare those two. The two main things there are with projects temporary. There is a definite beginning and a definite end. You walk on site, you start work doing the construction, at the end of the work you have built what you're supposed to build, a road, and then you walk away, you go and do another project or something. Um, there's a definite beginning, there's a definite end. As compared to operations where you do much the same thing every day. So the McDonald's Burger restaurant, if you're the manager of that, you are an operations facility. You're keeping the business going. You're doing the same stuff over and over and over again. The other thing about the difference between a project and an operation is the project is unique. It has not been done before. No one has built that road in that location at that particular time ever before. So that means that there's a lot of stuff you don't know. You don't know what the weather's going to do. You don't know what the soils are going to be like. You don't know if your digger driver is going to um, be sick one day. You, there's so many things you don't know. Whereas operations, uh, it's something you carry out repetitively. You produce the same burgers. If we're looking at McDonald's, you're producing the same burgers every day. You've got the same staff coming to site. Um, you know, it might be that someone's sick one day or another. So there is a little bit of variability, but most of the variables there are under your control with operations because and you know what's going to happen. To give you an idea of how that all works let's just look at an engineering project. So here's a, a highway. It was produced by a project. In fact it was produced by a series of projects. There was a project to do the geotechnical investigations before they started building the road. There would have been a project to do the surveying to, to, to see what the topography was like. There would have been a project to do the design. There would have been a project to produce the design drawings so that the construction people can do the construction. And there would have been a project to do the construction. And there would have been a lot more other projects. Now those are a whole lot of little projects that are all part of the bigger project which is build the road, design and build the road. And they're called sub-projects. So there's not much difference between them. At the end of that big project, building the road project, everyone packs up and goes. They've built the road, they've delivered it to the client, cars are now running on the road and um, there is no more construction work to be done. However, that does not the end of the story. The road has to be kept in operation. So there is another team of engineers that are regularly checking the road, making sure there's no potholes or any damage to the road that would stop cars from using it. The facility has to be kept operational, has to be able to be used. And so that's what operations are. The regular checking of the facility, um, doing whatever maintenance is required to keep it operational. Uh, if there are any problems, identifying those problems and fixing them. So that's what projects and operations are. Most engineering work is projects. Uh, a few of you will end up as operations people, but most of you will end up with projects. Now that concludes this slidecast. Uh, please go on and review the, the following ones.